Hey guys, so today I thought I would show you my craft setup. It is a bit of a mess at the moment. I am part way through cleaning the kitchen. And also, sorry if you can hear the washing machine on in the background. Um, I had Wilbur inside for a bit because he was soaking wet so he could dry out. And he peed on the doormat, so that is in the machine being washed. Um, so firstly, first area, I'll just flip you around. Um, we have these bookshelves. So the top shelf we have my A5 planners and my old laptop which I need to send the hard drive off for because there's some photos on there which I want to see if they can recover. So um, a few Kiki K like paper books and stuff. Um, so let's see. Those two are Paper Chase, that's a Filofax, that's one I made myself. That is a Hobbycraft one, and then the rest of these are Kiki K's. Um, and then here we've just got some notebooks and magazines. Then the next shelf is cookery books, plus um, a couple of photo albums, my mini Garmy book, and a couple of doodle books. Then the shelf below that, we have my Project Life packs and um, all these pen pots behind which we have my personal planners. So, um, we've got that one is a Oxbridge one, I think, something like that, or Oxford, not sure. Um, three Filofaxes, that's a Heidi Swap one. Uh, that's a WH Smith one, Paper Chase, Paper Chase, Paper Chase, and then the rest are Kiki K's. Um, and then I've just got some like, extra pens and pencils which live on there as well. And then the shelf below that we have my 8x8 paper pads, my 6x6 paper pads, a 4x4 album and 4x4 paper pads some sort of some other paper pads um some sort of like card making papers plain printable stickers sheets laminating pockets some roll doll patterned papers and an 8 by 8 album then the very bottom shelf sorry about the lighting it's a bit iffy we have my 2015 album which i never finished um a paper chase ring binder, my um, Etsy folder and some a printout folder and then some sort of odd sized papers and then all my 12 by 12 some of which are sitting on top and then a bag of layering stuff and then this won't be living here we have this small bookshelf which has sort of like all sorts of bits and bobs on where I keep my main pen pots. So we've got my Sharpies, my sort of everything. So I've got pens, pencils, highlighters, Sharpies, scissors, my craft knife in here, um, my paintbrush pot. So these are my preferred paintbrushes for doing watercolour. And then my sort of fine liner and like pen drawing pot. So we've got my drawing pens in there and then behind that there's a stack of boxes which has all sorts of stuff in no idea what I've got my oil pastels and my chalk pastels which I don't really use this set of drawers which this one has like paper clips and binder clips this one has like all my planner sort of planner decorative paper chips and dashboards and yeah that one has all sorts of stuff in this one has, what is that? Funny, oh, that's photo paper. And then that has paper clips and staples. And then on top of that, we have my HP 2540 printer, which is like my everyday printer. So anything I want printed, which it doesn't matter if it's good quality, I print with this and then we have my HP Envy which I use for printing my scrapbook photos and then 
this normally lives behind the printers. We have my pencil case of my not so good quality paint brushes, which I use for like acrylics and stuff which I don't mind if they get ruined. And then a couple of pictures which need to go elsewhere and yeah. And then we have my desk and my desk chair, which just has a cushion and a fleece blanket on it. This is actually Wilbur's fleece blanket for when he goes in the car, but you know. Um, so on here we have um, my Dovecraft 3D pearl effects in various colors, my sort of adhesives, um, my roller date stamp, um, a ball of string, my electric pencil sharpener, a pot of KFC wet wipes, um, another pencil sharpener which also has a fat one, fat pencil on it, um, the glue stick, tip X, um, a tape measure, rubber, roll of washi tape which I'm not that bothered about, magnetic tape, double sided tape, masking tape, glue dots, foam tape, my Swiss Army knife which I use for like opening parcels and stuff, um, my large tape dispenser which I don't actually use, um, my tripod and camera, um, well my Canon camera which is what I'm going to be using to film process videos from now on, um, I haven't used it yet for any of them, um, so the next few which will be going up will be using my camcorder which is what I'm filming this on, um, and then the rest will be filmed on there. And my lamp, because I tend to do my scrapbooking in the evening, um, so if I'm filming a process video, I, well, I have this on anyway, because um, the light, the main room light is behind me, so that just helps prevent shadows. And then we've got my desk calendar, which I won in the 500 subscriber subscriber giveaway from the Onyx Raven. Um, oh, we've got a couple of tape rollers, one of which is being really temperamental and difficult. Um, my acrylic stamp blocks and my embossing stamp pad and my um, corner rounders and I've just written the sizes on them just so it's easier. And then on the window I just have white paper because the blind doesn't come all the way down so if it's really sunny I still get sun in my eyes so there's all sorts of stuff on there um, and then we have a um, sample of all the embossing powders I have um, so yes and then we have a whiteboard which just has various things on it at the moment box of tissues, box of baby wipes, roll of kitchen paper, hand cream, mini tripod, my six hole punch, a couple of pencil cases, um, something which I've made which has been drying there, my Fiskars paper cutter, my heat gun, my hard drive which normally lives on the shelf, my laptop which doesn't live on my desk but I'm trying to keep it out of my room, my hot glue gun which I need to put away because I was using it the other day, <coughs> Um, glue gun things which again need to be put away. Um, the various rulers I have of various materials and lengths and my long reach stapler. Um, and then we have my fish tank which just yeah fish tank. Um, next there underneath the fish tank table um, so next to this filing cabinet we've got a few bits and pieces. Um, on top of the filing cabinet we've got my embossing powders, some glue, a large bottle of ink, paint sample thing and this small set of drawers where I have um, C6 envelopes, project life cards and other journaling cards, A6 plain white card and fish food and a cloth for cleaning the whiteboard. Um, and then on top of that we've got some um, old revision cards which I use as journal cards and my current tub of fish food. Dodger leave the cat alone. Dodger! I'm um, sorry about that. And then in the filing cabinet we have pencil cases and like miscellaneous stickers and also my um, 
camera strap and then below that we have my poster and acrylic paint and then above that we've got these two shelves so the top one has pretty much empty folders and photo albums on it plus my sort of like a uh, small tripod I suppose which I use for filming face-to-face -face videos and my microphone which I use for recording voiceovers then the shelf below that we have my small cutting mat which has a few bits on it which I need to sort resting on top of this box which has tracing paper templates for paper cutting um, so they are when I've printed out an image I trace it like if I want to like this um, so I use this in one of my process videos I think which is going up this week I think um, so yeah because I don't have a silhouette that is how I do it um, and a scrap paper tray this box has some of my Christmas chocolate in I sometimes get hungry whilst I uh, do crafty stuff. This box has sort of my, my sketching and watercolour stuff and on top of that we just have a box of colouring pencils, um, my big pack of craft foam, my laminator and my light box. And then the rest of this I'm not going to go through it in quite so much detail. Um, because everything has labels on it. So, this set of drawers has sort of like embellishments and ephemera and planner stickers, plus my pencil case, which is what I take with me if I know I'm going somewhere and I need to do, I'll need like a variety of pens and pencils. And here we have a load of um, plasters. Um, so in here we've got, yeah, sort of like, and sticky notes and those bits I need to put away, they're card making bits. Then this set of plastic drawers, we have scrapbooking stickers, embellishments and ephemera, paper punches, stencils and stamps. The next one we have drawing ink, washi tape, ribbon and twine and then adhesives, glitter, glitter glue and embossing because that was where I had my embossing powders. Then the drawer ac drawers across from that, the only one that has, um, top one has some bandanas and collar bow ties which I need to stitch and then the other three are empty. And then we have my paper drawers which are organised in various ways. And then on top of that we have a load of notebooks, some fabric and my old paper cutter. Um, there we have my little bits box. Um, the lid for the tracing paper box, a foil art kit and some jiffy bags, a bowl with some uh, pens in it and um, a photo album which is for a project and some sketch pads and then we have my cork board and I made these um, sort of in and out boxes which are just pinned, um, pinned to it. So that will be where sort of like I put mail as you can see. So that stuff, I've opened it, I've had a brief look at it, but I need to deal with it. Um, so they've got two sections. So a large section for larger stuff and then a smaller section for smaller stuff. Um, and then I just painted the frame of this cork board and um, yeah, that will be where stuff goes. And uh, like these bits were all on there so I need to put those back up um, and then my 12 by 12 album is currently living on the table and then we have underneath the table my recycling bin my rubbish bin and well my mum's sewing machine um, and then in that corner that is all stuff I need to sort and then upstairs I have two under bed storage boxes with all of my Christmas craft stuff in so Christmas scrapbooking, December daily stuff, all of that sort of thing is upstairs in my room as are a load of A5 notebooks 
Um, so yeah, sorry I rushed it a bit to the end, but you know, this, this video is getting a bit long and um, those things you don't need to see in quite so much detail. So yes, thanks for watching, please comment, like and subscribe and I shall see you guys next time, bye!